All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of proximity, which is being made by forum user Biff Space. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a proximity alarm to warn you as you approach terra firma, and that's just a good thing. And what's interesting about this mod is that the alarm has both an audio as well as a visual element, and it's that visual element that really got me interested in this mod and just made me decide to take a look at it, which apparently I've been neglecting to do for quite some time. This mod actually originally came out about halfway through 2014, and I completely missed it, which isn't too surprising considering how many mods come out for this game, you just can't possibly catch them all. Uh, but thankfully, as of the time of recording this video, a about two weeks ago, uh, the mod updated. So <laughs> I was finally able to see it, it caught my eye, and here we are. So let's just jump right on into the VAB real quick and have a look at the one part that is necessary to get this alarm to work. So let's grab our command pod and move it ever so slightly over so I can zoom in a bit more on this thing and head to the utility tab where we will find this little proximity sensor, which is really, really little. If I throw it onto our ship there, uh, this thing is tiny. And uh, yeah, not really a whole lot to talk about on this particular part. It's very small, does not weigh much at only 0.001 tons. Uh, pretty standard stats for the res with crash tolerance, etc. No power usage or anything like that. You just slap this thing onto your ship and you're good to go. Now as to the quality of it, I'll admit it may not be the best looking part ever, but it's also equally not the worst, but thankfully it is such a small size that it's quite easy to just hide this thing in some little nook or cranny of your ship and you'll never notice it, which if we load up our test ship for today, you can see how I've hidden mine and there we go, my little proximity craft, one of the strangest things I've built in a while, and as you can see I've hidden it in between some engines and behind a lander leg, so yeah, it's, it's quite easy to hide and it's Again, because it's just such a small part, it's, you know, just uh, very nice to be able to place anywhere you want without messing up anything on your ship. So let's take this thing out to launch and actually see how this whole alarm system works. And I gotta admit, I really love it. It's really cool with a lot of good options. So as you can see here, it's already defaulted to being up. Now the first time you start off this mod, it will be off, but it seems like after you turn it on for the first time, it always comes on. But if you ever need to turn it on or off, it's this button right here, this lovely proximity button, and you can see all the lovely options. We'll quickly go through these. Now the first is the activate below altitude. So this alarm will only go off if you're falling towards towards the ground and you're below by default 4,000 meters, but you can change this by increments of 500 meters with these just convenient plus or minus keys here, and you can set it to whatever you want, which is quite handy because, you know, between different planets, you really don't have to worry about your landing until different altitudes, so you can set the alarm to set off wherever you think you should really start paying attention, which is quite cool. Now, we then have the visual element here, which has a variety of options we'll go through as we're actually showing off the alarm. Uh, we then have options for the sound. There are different kinds of sounds the alarm can produce. Uh, and again, as the alarms are actually going off, we'll cycle through those different sounds. So if you find one tone annoying, you can switch to another. We then have the pitch, which is defaulted to variable, but if you don't like variable pitch, you can switch it to just be a specific frequency uh, if you prefer. Personally, I like keeping it on variable because when it's on variable, the pitch of the beep gets higher and higher the closer to the ground you're getting. So it helps give you an extra little, oh crap, we're getting really close really quick because this thing just keeps going up. Uh, so I like keeping it to this. You don't get that same effect if you choose a specific frequency. Uh, and also, of course, if the beep is too loud, you have a volume slider here that you can adjust to your liking. 
We then also have a beep length on here, so each beep, how long it will actually play for, uh, which you can adjust, again, uh, by whatever increments you like with the plus and minus keys here. We then have two lovely options which are very useful for your sanity. Remember, these beeps will go off if you're falling towards the ground and below this altitude. But of course, if you set off a parachute, you really don't want those beeps to continue because if you're on a parachute, hopefully you should be okay at that point. So you can turn off the beep automatically with this option so once your parachute comes out, it will no longer beep. We then also have a similar function for if your vessel is a rover, again, which is quite cool. You may want your lander to have the alarm going off, but once you actually then turn it over into a rover and you might take a jump or two, you don't want those beeps surprising you, so you can turn that on or off as well. So uh, if you are a rover, you're good to go. And finally, you can just turn on or off the entire system by doing this. And as you can see, if we turn it off, we get a little strike through the button up here, which is a good little extra indicator to tell you, oh, oh yeah, you might want to check that if you want that on. But let's just turn this baby on, and let's use Hyper Edit to get ourselves up above 4,000 meters, so you guys can see that that beeping will indeed start once we go past it. So let's uh, set to current, and we'll set it to 4,250. And here we go, we are up in the air, SAS on, and let's start dropping. Okay, it put us actually a little bit above the altitude I wanted, but notice now, no beeping whatsoever, we're good to go, but there we go, the audio element is beeping now. Let's actually turn that up a little bit more, and you can also see that visual element I was talking about here. It is a line with circles on it, which I'll explain more about what that means momentarily, but let's listen to the beeping. There you go, you can see the beeping is getting more higher pitched. Let's go back up into our altitude and also more frequent the closer you get to the ground. So it's really telling you, oh crap, you're not doing well. Now you may have noticed on the visual element that that also started changing color and those circles started moving faster. Now let's turn it back to falling once again and pay a bit more attention to that visual element. Now right now, the visual is turned to speed, so the faster we go, the different color this is going to change. So right now it's a green, and it will go from yellow to orange to red. The faster we go and the closer we are to the ground, and these circles will begin also moving more quickly. As you can see there, it's starting to change color, going faster, and we're probably in really good danger, so back up top. Now, as for other settings we have, We'll skip this one for now, we'll come back to it. We have, of course, no visual, so nothing coming on up here. We then also have distance. So remember, the last was speed. It moved and changed color by how fast you were approaching the ground. Now this one, on the other hand, will uh, start changing color and speed the closer you get to the ground. So it's all by distance. You can see here it's blue because we're really, really high up, and these circles are coming together. The closer these two circles get, the closer we are to the ground. So as they get close to the X and I of the proximity label up here, you're probably in danger. As you can see here, and with the beeping going on in the background, and back up in the air, excellent. Now the final option is this one here, visual above 500 meters, or distance above 500 meters, and speed below 500 meters. So this is quite interesting. So you can actually change it so when you're still above 500 meters, it shows distance, which, you know, is quite nice to have. It's showing you as you're approaching the planet. And then once you're below 500 meters, you should either have engines burning or parachutes going, something like that. And so it switches to speed so that you can see how you're affecting it, which I think is quite cool. Because of course, you know, once you're below 500 500 meters, you're really going to be burning on those engines hard, and making sure that that coloring up here is staying more in the green rather than in the orange or the red might possibly save your life. So let's actually start falling again. And now, 
uh, the 500 meters is what its default is, but we can again change it just like we could the active below altitude. So we can change it to any other altitude we desire, but the default is that 500. But you can change it depending on the conditions for your mission. So once, actually I'm gonna bring this thing up to 750. There we go, and once, oh, there we are. It's changed over to speed and we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so again, it's a very cool feature. So once you hit that particular altitude, it will actually change back to speed, which is just more useful the closer you get because you really want to make sure that your speed is going up. So let's do that again and watch as it gets closer together with the distance. And then once we pass now a thousand meters, of course, increasing it by increments of 50 meters, once we pass a thousand, it'll start going towards the speed one and moving a lot more quickly and making a lot more sound. All right, almost there. I'll be quiet for this. And back up. Okay, now let's try out a couple of more beeps now. So let's uh, just have this thing on eh, the distance visual I like. And now it's the saw one that we've been testing. Actually, let's just bring ourselves to 2,000 meters here so we're instantly beeping as we fall so there we go now we are still doing the saw sound which as you can hear is just a pretty typical nice little beep now if we go back up to 2000 and switch it over to the sign sound there we go, you can hear that one. In my opinion, this one's a bit more harsh. We then have no sound, of course, if you do want to turn that off entirely. We then have this square sound, which is a bit, uh, I guess, retro, almost chiptune type sound there, if I be quiet momentarily. Yeah, again, a little bit, a little bit harsh of a sound, but perhaps that's what you want because you really want this alarm to tell you when you're in danger. And of course, we're back to the saw sound, which is personally my favorite. I think it's the least harsh of all of them. And like I said earlier, you can also adjust the pitch. So we're of course on variable, where it gets higher pitch the closer you get to the ground. But again, we can change it to specific frequencies. Let's actually turn that all the way up. Okay, back up tops. <laughs> So you can see, we don't have a whole lot of frequencies, 440, 880, 1760, and then variable. But still, it's convenient and good, so if you don't want the variable sound, you don't have to deal with it. And lastly, of course, the beep length. So this is sort of the beeping we're getting right now. And if we increase that length, you can see it it really doesn't so much elongate the beep as kind of make it a little bit repetitious. It seems to make like a couple of beeps successively really quickly rather than just one beep. Personally, I like keeping it at the default three. It seems to be the best, but uh, yeah, that's that's how this mod works. It's actually a really cool proximity system. I love the difference between the distance and the speed visual effect, and especially with this particular visual change one here where you can set it to be distance above a thousand and then speed below a thousand or whatever you wish to change it to. I really, really do like that option. It is quite cool and could potentially save your craft one day if you need to make sure that you're not falling too darn quickly into a planet or wherever you're trying to land. And yeah, it's just a cool and useful mod that I'm quite enjoying. It'll probably make it its way into my usual rotation of mods in my own personal game. And yeah, it's just fun. It has a lot of good options for it between sound and pitch and volume. And overall is just a very cool, useful mod. So if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. Uh, but yeah, that's really gonna be it for this particular episode. Uh, if you would like to, oh God, why am I saying that again? I was about to say to download the mod again but no we already went through that guys but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this episode uh, you do come back for the next but until then i thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one
And of course, explode, because, well, we need to finish with an explosion. That's just a good thing. Later, folks. <laughs>